Hello, I'm your instructor Lakshmi Begum. Welcome to the course Anaerobic Digestion. In this introduction segment, we are going to discuss course objectives, what is anaerobic digestion, a brief history of anaerobic digestion, and different benefits of the anaerobic digestion. Course objectives. The objectives of this course is to teach anaerobic digestion process fundamentals, important anaerobic digestion design and operating parameters, different anaerobic digester types, anaerobic digestion fit selection criteria and pretreatment requirements, anaerobic digestion operation and maintenance, troubleshooting and safety measures, biogas handling, collection, cleaning, upgrade and utilization, digested treatment and resource recovery, and at the end, feasibility and economics of anaerobic digester. What is anaerobic digestion? Anaerobic digestion is an engineered process where an optimum environment is created for a group of microorganisms to break down organic materials anaerobically. That is in the absence of oxygen. In general, anaerobic digestion is designed in an enclosed vessel known as anaerobic digester. The main product of anaerobic digestion is biogas. Biogas is typically consisting of 60% of methane and 40% of CO2. It also contains just amount of other gases like nitrogen, oxygen, and hydrogen. The leftover of the anaerobic digestion process is known as digestate, a combination of residual solids and water. And further resources can be recovered from digestate as compost or fertilizer. Let's look at the brief history of anaerobic digestion. It is an almost 200 years old technology that has evolved over the years. Jan Papista first determined in 17th century that flammable gases could evolve from decaying organic matter. The first digestion plant was built at a leper colony in Bombay, India in 1859. It reached England in 1895 and biogas was used to fuel street lamps. In the United States, the first digester that used municipal solid waste as a feedstock operated from 1939 to 1974. By the mid-1950s, France had over 1,000 anaerobic installations. In West Germany, this technology reached its peak in 1944 to 1945. In the USA, Canada and Western Europe, anaerobic digestion has been used mainly for processing animal manure till the mid-1970s. By the end of 2005, there were about 2,492 medium and large scale biogas digesters in farms, while about 137,000 biogas digesters in various wastewater treatment plants in China. Currently, there are less than 200 anaerobic digestion facilities working in the United States, and today Germany considers the leader of modern large scale anaerobic digestion with over 3,700 installations. What are the benefits of anaerobic digestion? Anaerobic digestion technology can provide a complete solution to organic waste management. Biogas, an alternative energy source, is promising in the midst of energy scarcity and rising oil price. Biogas can be converted to electricity and heat, and after upgrading, it can be used as vehicle fuel or pipeline quality gas. In addition, Compost or dry organic fertilizer can be recovered from the left out of the process. Also, anaerobic digestion converts waste to bioenergy, renewable fuels, and valuable resources, thus divert waste from landfill and reduce greenhouse gas emission. There are much more economic, environmental, and aesthetic benefits of anaerobic digestion, such as anaerobic digestion plant creates additional income, job, and boost economy. Anaerobic digestion performs significant volume reduction to organic waste, thus reduce waste transportation cost to landfill and other associated cost. Anaerobic digestion diminishes odor and pathogen in the end product significantly, make it more environmentally safe for disposal. Anaerobic digestion can create an alternative green energy source for individual or local communities, thus reduce the dependency on centralized supplies. At the end, it is an environmental friendly, sustainable organic waste management process. This is a summary of anaerobic digestion solution. 
we can see that this process can treat a variety of waste including energy crops, uh, manure from farm animal, industrial waste, source separated organics from household, municipal solid waste, restaurant or food industry waste and wastewater treatment plant sludge. And after processing this waste, the output of this process is biogas that can convert to electricity and heat. We can also upgrade it to renewable fuel. And also we can recover biofertilizer and compost from this process. And the water part can be used as reusable water. So with this, I conclude the first segment of my course. The next segment is fundamentals of the process that is anaerobic process fundamentals and I'll continue from there.